I served about 10 years, but you know, uh, trying to navigate myself you know, in the serious street was real uh, hard work. I joined uh, the freelance uh, interpreting you know, services. And this is how I, I started to uh, become more aware of the issues the Gurkhas were facing. So I thought I would like to do something and set up a charity. I needed something, you know, skills, education and training or someone, you know, advising me, guiding me to set up and support the community in more, you know, effective way. And a friend of mine, um, you know, Johnny Ball, signposted me towards Heropner. And I, you know, uh, got in touch with Heropner. And since then, it has been such a huge support that I've been receiving. And that actually changed the whole thing I've been doing. And it, it, it came to be like, you know, the Gurkha Center it is today now. Gurkha Center is a charity set up to help Gurkha veterans and their families in access to health, well-being and education. The Gurkha veterans, especially the older ones, most of them don't have families and they've got a lot of, you know, issues like, you know, language barriers, you know, not understanding the culture, the way the system works here. And they find it difficult every day to like even access health or even like the services. So far I have supported hundreds of people, it even I think went to the thousands. The need for support is increasing every other day. So I used to do it myself, like used to go around every single day, evenings, weekends. Uh, slowly I started getting funds and with that fund I was able to uh, employ um, staff. And also we got office as well in Hayes. So that helped us to be more centralized in a, in a center. People actually need for support and they need a place to go to, which at the moment the Gurkha Center is providing, but there is quite a, still a lot to be done. And you know, I'm, I'm hoping that with the right support, I would be able to you know, cater for that need.